Today I want to take you on a tour of one of my drawers in my van that I built to house a bunch of different tools. Uh, you might have seen it in my other van tour video, but I wanted to show you a kind of closer, more in-depth look at what I have in here, the different tools that I keep. So let's jump in. So this drawer I built as part of the set of three drawers. This I use for my specialty drawer. I made this out of three quarter inch plywood and about every eight inches or so. I made dados so I could slot in these dividers. But as you can see over time, I don't really use the dividers anymore. And I use these acro bins, which I've talked about before. They're great because you can just lift them out, take them, put them back in and they slot in to each other so they don't move around. On the front end here, I have specialty tools and I'll get into showing you these in a second. On the back end here, I have some larger kind of specialty tools. So uh, we'll start on the front here. So this is the bin I have on the very front. Like I said, I keep brad nails in here, some smaller gauge nails, staples, I keep some small zip ties and just kind of odds and ends. I keep primarily blades, saw blades. I've got a sawzall blade and my uh, multi-tool blades. This is an epoxy dispenser to fix squeaky hardwood floors or, or hollow hardwood floors. You drill little holes into the hardwood and you squirt some epoxy in there. Fill the void in the, in the hardwood floor so that uh, it doesn't squeak when you walk on it. So moving on to the larger bins, I got four total and I just stack them on top. And like I said, they, they click into place so they don't really move around at all in transit, which is nice. In this one, I just keep this uh, air shim for doors, really handy to have. I got a stapler, some hole saws, coping saw, some plumbing parts I keep here. Um, to remove nuts on the bottom of a faucet. And I've got a basin wrench. And also I keep some small uh, electrical components here, little tools, uh, electrical tape. So this is kind of like a catch-all for just spare tools that I don't use on a daily basis. Um, so I don't keep them in my main tool bag, but I'll, I'll keep them here. So this bottom one just has some more electrical stuff. Just have a glue gun. This is a post level to keep it plumb and level. This is really handy to have if you're installing fence posts. I have an angle marker. If, if you're building a new set of stairs and you're making stringers, you can mark off the angle of the existing stringer and then transfer that to the new piece of wood you're cutting. Um, this is... This is a scribing tool. This is for screen roller. This is for replacing screen, uh, paint scraper, some random chisels and things like that. Also, I have a vinyl siding uh, removal tool. So it just kind of hooks underneath the lip of the vinyl siding. You can remove one section and, and then install a new section. So that's handy. And then I just have a, a manual tile breaker. So as you can see, a lot of different tools that I've kind of acquired over the years. So in this acro bin, I keep my slab door cutting equipment, jigs. This is a jig to create recesses for the door hinges. This is for the doorknob. This is also to create the recess for the strike plate on the door itself. Uh, a couple more hole saws. I've got some bits. Strike jig for making pocket screws. Uh, I use this quite frequently. I do a lot of door replacements, so these tools really come in handy. This bottom one here, this is a drawer face jig, um, 
pocket hole fillers and just some grinder blades and things like that. Some, some circular saw blades that I keep in there. Uh, they're not very bulky. They're pretty flat, obviously. So they, you know, they don't stick up so I can stack these nice. This is a single divider that I got. I used to have about four of these dividers, but you know, as I've acquired tools over the years, I, I really just needed to make more room and the bulk of the tools don't really fit in these kind of eight inch slots. So these are my, like I said, these are my smaller specialty tools, quicker access. These are my larger specialty tools. So I'll take you through these and show you what I got. This is a recent purchase. Um, this is a strap wrench. I've got an extension cord, a DeWalt router. This thing is an absolute beast. I actually made all the dados on this piece as well as on the other drawers with this router. So I've got another set of hole saws. Just all different sizes. I uh, recently picked up this cutoff tool. Just having battery powered things makes things a whole lot easier. You can just quickly grab it and run it and you know cut metal or or tile or whatever you need to do. This is my heat gun. Uh, I use this a lot to speed up the drying time of drywall mud. So if I'm trying to do a repair, drywall repair in one day, what I do is I use hot mud, typically like 20 minute mud, um, and then I'll run this over the area, depending on the size for, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. And by that time it's fully dry. So then I can just sand and paint in one day. This I picked up recently, if I'm doing a bathroom fan replacement and I get, I get up in the attic, uh, having this headlamp to be up in the attic when um, any lights up there is, is really helpful. And just if you're in dark spots, you know, under the sink or something like that. I also recently picked up this rotary hammer and this thing is an absolute beast too. Ry Ryobi 18 volt, it's brushless and it makes such light work drilling through brick, block, concrete. I recently used this on a job where I was venting a microwave out and the exterior siding was uh, brick. Man, this thing in five minutes, I had broken through all the, the bricks. It's got a depth stop so you don't keep drilling all the way through accidentally. It's kind of got this shock absorption handle so it's really comfortable. Just a beast of a, of a tool. This jigsaw, this is like one of the very first tools that I've got. I don't really use this a whole bunch. I've made a set of cornhole boards and cutting out the hole for the, for the boards, this comes in handy. But other than that, just kind of use it really sparingly. Let's see what I got. This is a Diama brush. Really good for stripping like a deck. It makes quick work if you need to, like if you wanna change the color of your deck and you need to strip the whole deck. You, you just hook this up to an angle grinder, maybe hook a shot back up to the angle grinder and then just go up and down the boards. It really strips it really quick. So this, I got a spare one of these. I have my scratch repair kit. This thing, basically you just turn it on, it heats up this tip and then you can melt these different colored wax pieces to be able to match, you know, the hardwood or um, the stain of a chair or a railing. And this is also for scratch repair. Vera Thane makes these markers work really well, different shades. This is the rigid nut removal tool on sinks. It's kind of an all-in-one kind of basin wrench and uh, nut removal tool. So this works really well. You can also use this to tighten up your water supply lines. Got my angle grinder and extension for my shop back. This actually, this is an attachment that goes on the angle grinder. This is great for use with that Diama brush. I was stripping a deck, so I bought this like two part system. Uh, this fits right over the di diama brush and it kicks up all the dust right through this little port here. A hand planer, um, you know, this is good if you need to shave a little bit off a door, if a door is sticking in a customer's home, uh, you can just quickly run this over and you're good to go. So that's about it in this specialty drawer. Till next time, hope you enjoyed this.
Feel free to subscribe and like, really appreciate it. Talk to you soon.